Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Uh, we got a breaking story coming out of Egypt, and Egyptians are protesting President Abdel Fattah el Sisi. We are September 21, 2019. This took place last night in Egypt on the 20th. Opposition and demonstrations have broken out across the country against the president, Abdel Fattah el Sisi. And the masses are calling for the president to step down from his post. And the picture here on the left is the president, CC. And the guy on the right is Muhammad Ali. And he is an actor and a construction business owner, contractor. And he has complained the Egyptian government has not paid his company for construction projects completed. So, and then he's calling for uh, and pointing out examples of quote government corruption so he does what anybody would do today in the 21st century he took to social media uh now you can click on this link right here on youtube and it's just like a brief overview about uh muhammad ali uh <laughs> you gotta love the name you got recognition across the arab world for muhammad and ali and you follow all the uh the family happenings with ali being i believe it's a uh, steps, not a stepson, but a son-in-law to the prophet Muhammad, and then the boxer in the Western culture, Muhammad Ali. So he's got name cachet. He looks cool. He's got the sunglasses, fancy cars, all that stuff. So click on that link. You can find out about him. <clears throat> and then also, if you want to read a little bit more about him, you can click on this at Middle East Eye. Uh, critical CC trends worldwide after visit videos exposing corruption. So he's called for people to take to the streets in protest against the sitting president. And, and they're spreading, protests have spread to all major cities in Egypt calling for the removal of President Sisi. And again, you can click on this off of Twitter and you can see the different people protesting across the country of Egypt. And um, also this morning, taking a look at social media, they're getting ready to protest again tonight. The government's got police forces out, military out. Um, you know, it's worth watching, you know, and take a quick look at Isaiah 19 verses one and two, the Oracle concerning Egypt, behold, the Lord is riding on a swift cloud and is about to come to Egypt. The, I the idols of Egypt will tremble at his presence and the heart of Egyptians will melt within them. So I will incite in Egyptians against Egyptians and they will fight against his brother and each against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So, you know, that's the prophecy in Isaiah 19. And it, it, it's kind of the kickoff to the end times, part of the end times scenario. And I want to be very clear. Um, I am not saying that the events, the protests in Egypt last night are the beginning of the passages in Isaiah 19. That's not the point. But it, Egypt is a part of the end time scenario in Scripture. And I think this bears watching. We need to pay attention to it. I mean, anytime you can mobilize an entire country to go protest a president and show up in tens of thousands, I mean, that's it's worth taking notice. And, you know, this happened, what, about eight years ago, eight and a half years ago, February 2011, part of the Arab Spring. And it took less than three weeks to overthrow then President Hosni Mubarak. Um, and then there was some chaos in that country for a good year and a half, two years before Sisi was elected. Well, unrest is growing again. And um, all I'm saying is pay attention. And, you know, looking at Isaiah 19, there are no time markers. Um, but the end of this chapter has a savior and a champion, and that's in Isaiah 19, verse 20. And he is sent to deliver the Egyptian people. The savior will be physically on earth. He will physically come and deliver them. And it's a Jewish king who will redeem Egypt. So, you know, anybody follows along, I think you know who that is. And it begs the question, you got Jesus. So, you know, again, just, just pay attention. Another thing, our press isn't going to report on it. You know, if it's not something that Trump's involved in, mainstream press doesn't care. We're just completely blind to what's going on in the rest of the world. Um, you know, and if you're interested in following along, uh, click on the blue bar here or there'll be an open spot where you can type in your email address and you can receive notification every time something comes out. Um, also, this will be categorized 
has been categorized under uh, Egypt, Nile River. Click on this bar and you can go back and read articles related to Egypt. And I know these go back to at least 2011, you know, February 2011. So there's a, there's a history of things happening prophetically or dominoes being put in place prophetically that line up with what um, Isaiah 19 has to say regarding uh, Egypt's future. So check those things out. Um, we have all kinds of stuff, all kinds of categories. So, and again, we're going on 10 years here at the post. Try to put out something four or five times a week, pending the news flow. I suspect things will be picking up. we got the fall feast coming up next weekend. So, always seems to be an interesting time when we get into the fall and around God's appointed holidays. So, appreciate you guys following along. Hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.